Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the Capgemini recent technical assessment. Like most of you having the technical assessment on the October 7. So in this video we are going to see about the updated patterns and what are the recent questions the students are facing for. Capgemini hiring patterns are changed now from the previous batch. Let me discuss about the updated hiring pattern and some of the students have shared the experience of so the questions they are getting and we are going to discuss the coding level questions some of the questions are easy and some of the questions are harder and at last i will share you some material for preparing your cap germany assessment let's get into this video this is their hiring pattern for the 2026 batch so for now we have 25 questions in the pseudo code and for the it fundamentals they are mostly asking question based on data structure and based on uh, cloud so most of us students have uh, stated that uh, most of our questions are easy from harder level if you find those questions like uh, only you can find three to four question easy and other than not harder next if we look into the coding assessment uh, once you clear the cutoff of this round you will get the coding round once you get the coding round the first questions are easy and the second questions are harder to the medium level Next for the game based in assessment, uh, so there will be a different kind of assessment like uh, logical thinking uh, challenge. There are different types of challenges are there and I will discuss that detail in the end of a video. Try to watch the video till the end. You will get idea how, how to attend the assessment and uh, you find a way to prepare yourself. If you take a pseudocode question, that is the first session we need to do. There will be a 25 questions. We need to attempt all the questions and the time duration for this question is 25 minutes. So the each question carries the one minute to solve. And most of the students have said that mostly questions are from easy to medium level and the focus on nested loops mostly. Next, left shift to right shift operators. Next, most students say that a pseudocode sessions are sometimes little bit lengthy. You need to see this kind of. So, we have already discussed about the duration of a session. It is 25 minutes. So, practice with the time based. Only that you can crack this assessment. And one more thing is the cutoff for this assessment is 12 to 50 correct questions you need to do. Then only you qualified for the further round and each session will be an elimination round. Once you get cut off higher only you move to other round. Next we will see the student difficulty levels. So most of a student stated only the one thing is pseudo course questions are little bit difficult. And how many you should solve is 12 to 15 questions you need to be solved at correct. And this is the cut off of the sessions. Next, we will discuss about the IT fundamentals. So, IT fundamentals are based on the DBMS, data structures and cloud-based concepts. So, better try to focus on this concept. And uh, most students also said that this is also a difficulty round to face. And if you see the cutoff for the session is 8 to 10 questions you need to be correct to move to the further round. Next, uh, Coding assessment. So the most common question is it is elimination or not. So each assessment in the Capgemini. So each assessment in the Capgemini is a elimination round. So you need to focus on that. Once you get a higher cutoff in the previous round, which is pseudo code and fund IT fundamentals, then only you move to this coding assessment. So most students said that there will be a 40, 40 minutes for this round and two coding one is easy level first question is in easy level second is in medium and some students have find hard to solve the sessions so student feedback is some received coding questions from hash map and dynamic programming so if you see the topic itself we could confirm that they made the difficulty level higher better than the previous batch 
if you see the 25 2025 batch they will usually get the array string based coding question which is also in the medium level so most students said that first questions who have solved only the first coding have not received any further mail so who solved the two coding question they are only going to get an interview mail from the cap gemini these are the student feedback so better try to know this kind of points and do not do this mistake in the cap gemini assessment if you look into the game based questions if you look into the game based questions there are four types in the cap gemini detective logical thinking inductive logical thinking switch challenge and motion challenge in the each topic i will explain you what are the things you need to see first if you take this to see whether this two diagram is following the options if you see that in above and below the plus is followed in above and below and if you see this and the same pattern is following for the second option and the third option so you need to select the two and three so this is one kind of challenge next we will look into the second challenge so this is also known as a switch challenge so here one two three four so if you look here it is one and here it is three and here it is four and here it is two so the correct option is the second options you need to find like this and this is the sample question you are not going to this much easy level when you across the level each by each one they are going to increase the harder of your gaming assessment next this is the detective logic thinking they will give you this kind of pattern and they will ask you with a question mark here what shape we need to add so if you see plus triangle and circle is there remaining part is a circle so the correct option is circle next here it is a another challenge which is known as the motion challenge so if you see that you need to move the red balls to the black holes like you need to navigate the red ball to the black holes so for this you need to move this kind of purple box to the here so purple block to the here and blue to the downwards and you need to arrange this block according to your preference and move the red ball to the black let us discuss the separate cutoff for the each session if we see the pseudo code there will be a 25 questions so so we need to solve 12 to 15 questions so the next thing is it fundamentals there will be 15 questions we need to solve solve 8 to 10 questions next for the coding round two question in the maximum cases and most students have advised based on you can also solve two coding questions like like one one questions in the full test cases pass and the second question is partial so know this kind of things next for the gaming sessions each session will going to have your levels at least try to pass level 10 to level level 11 so by this you can crack this assessment i have already told in the uh, first itself i am going to share some materials these are the materials or uh, followed by the uh, feedback given students and there will be a geeks for geeks materials for the pseudo code i will give link in the description go to the link and practice pseudo code there and for the it fundamentals i will give you topics like what are the topics you need to prepare in the descriptions and for the gaming i will give you one pdf link follow that gaming session for this pdf these pdf are only reference if you are practicing more and more only you are going to crack this and if you have any other doubts join our 2026 batch telegram channels and if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing we are sharing the valuable information to all the students thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video